Well, I grew up hearing my father play in a piano trio setting and seeing him put together rhythm sections for great musicians like Sonny Stitt and Clark Terry whenever they played New Orleans as singles. This gave me a special love and feeling for the rhythm section. Piano, bass, and drum. I want all of y'all to start noticing rhythm sections when you see them. Rhythm sections are everywhere, all over the world, this afternoon in hotel lounges, tonight in clubs, fulfilling different functions for small gatherings of people paying scant to no attention. You could be the greatest horn player in the world, but you try playing a two-hour gig with no rhythm section. <laughs> They're seated behind you, but they determine the overall environment of every moment. The rhythm section understands better than anyone that jazz requires servant leadership. Throughout the 20th century, jazz expanded and sent its greatest soloists around the world with messages of peace, love, and like Rob was saying, universal humanism. During the same time frame, our same world was pockmarked with despots, murderers, and strong men who would be king. For some reason, when given the choice between participating in our own affairs or abdicating responsibility to solve every problem through persecuting someone else king, a population just loves to choose that strong man. It's actually very primal and simple. That king is going to punish other persons. He's doing it for us. Because the best way to ameliorate our anxiety, to ameliorate our anxiety, is to find some designated unfortunates to sacrifice for a just cause, of course. This is an age old and very sad script. These other persons need to be chastised for being themselves. The anointed strongman oppresses and eliminates other persons, but eventually he starts attacking and liquidating a random selection of his own people for conspiring against him, I mean the state. And because he has a lifetime appointment, the king administers swift justice to a broad swath of the very people that initially supported his kingship. As his supporters perish, they patriotically shout, long live the king. <laughs> a king in jazz does the complete opposite. Jazz comes from the experience of other persons. Therefore, our royalty elevates the supposed enemy instead of subjugating them. The music has clear practices designed to constrain the dominion of the powerful. For example, a soloist can stand up and, and play as long as they want. But if you get too carried away and the rhythm section does a thing called breathing when you're playing too long, boom, 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 they rededicate. That means please stop playing. If you walk through two of those breaths, guess what they're going to do? You don't want to play with us. You got this. One horn, it's a pretty sad sound after a while. They let you have it. And they just look at you. And when you finish, they look at you like, okay. 